Hey there, so this is a website and if I scroll down the containers stack on each other like this and when I scroll back up they unstack like this. Now you can create this effect without any coding but it will look like this which is good but not as good looking and premium as this. To create a stacking effect we will use GSAP code and I'll be honest we got this code from Andrea's video. We've been following her channel for a long time and she's inspired us to make this video. So you should subscribe to her channel because she makes amazing content. I'll begin by creating our hero section. So when a visitor starts to scroll from this section, the stacking effect will play right after it. First, click on the plus icon and select a container. Go to the layout settings. Set the width to full and the height to 100 VH so that it covers the entire page vertically. Then justify the content to the center so that when we insert the heading text, it will align perfectly in the middle. Now, under additional options, select overflow as hidden and also set the HTML tag as section. In the advanced settings, scroll down here and add the CSS class as hero pinned. This will help the code identify our hero section. Now we need to add some heading text inside the container. So let's add a heading widget to the container and change the text. I'll also change the font and the color. And once done, it will look something like this. All right, our hero section is ready and the image containers will stack on this. Next, we'll create cards that will stack on each other. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Their support is highly responsive, so if you face any issues, just raise a ticket and they will handle it. So try it out and share it with your friends because you will thank me later. So let's drag a new container under the hero section, change the width to full width and set the height to 100 VH. Under additional options, I'll select overflow as hidden to prevent any content from spilling out of the container and set the HTML tag as section to define this part of the page as a distinct section. We'll now create three more containers inside this container that'll hold our images. To do that, drag another container into this one and use the same settings as the container before. Then go to advanced and assign the CSS classes as card pinned. All right, now let's create our first image container. Drag a new container into the previous one and change the CSS class as IMG like this. Next, let's drag an image widget inside this container and select an image from the media library. Then set the width and height to 100% like this and change the object fit to cover. Cool. We're done with our first image container. After setting up the first one, duplicate this container twice and change the images. For the last container, we need to change the CSS class to card scroll, as this will identify that it's the last image container in the stack. So make sure to add this CSS class to your last card, no matter how many cards you add. This way, the code knows where to stop stacking the images. We now need an ending screen for our stacking container effect. So let's add another container here. The steps are exactly the same as the hero section we added earlier. Just make sure to go to advanced and add the CSS class as last cont. Finally, add a heading and it will look something like this. Okay, for the effect to work, we need to add the code. To do that, drag an HTML widget, place it below the last container here, and paste this code from the description below. Now select this container, go to the advanced settings, and scroll down to the CSS panel. Paste this code and update the page from here. Now let's see how it looks. Just click on preview here, And yeah, it looks good to me. 
Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.